Hello, my name is Neil Bennett, Enterprise Technical Support Advisor. Today we will be talking about Change Other 6.6 and how to create a search to filter Windows file server events. When discussing how to create a search to filter Windows file server events, we'll be covering three subtopics. Review the file system subsystem on the What tab, perform a search for a file without using wildcards, and perform a search for a file using wildcards. The first topic we'll be discussing is review the file system subsystem on the What tab. Here we are in the search tab of the Change Other client. We have a new search named Test File Events. Within the properties of this search, we'll go to the What tab. From the What tab, we'll select the drop arrow next to the Add button, select Subsystem, and then File System. Within the Subsystem properties, we can define the scope, whether it be all file system paths, this object, a folder in its contents, or a folder in all subfolders. You can also fill the results by the action performed, the type of object, whether it be a file, folder, or transaction, and also by the path of the object. Next we'll discuss performing a search for a file without using wildcards. We'll turn to the file system subsystem on the What tab of the search properties of our search. If we'll click on this object as the scope, we can now define a path for the file that we want to search for. The path will need to be defined as it appears in the file server. Here we are in the file server that contains the file that we want to search for. We'll navigate into the G drive and look at the folder structure. Within the G drive we have two folders named alpha and beta. Within the alpha folder, we have a subfolder named alpha sub 1. In that file, we have a test file 1 text document. Test file 1 is our sample file that we'll search for. We'll copy its path from the address bar at the top of Windows Explorer. Returning the change order, we'll ensure our scope is this object and our object type is file. We'll then enter the path of our test file 1 into the path field, again ensuring that the path is exactly as it appears within the file server. Once the path is entered, we'll ensure to put the file name. Once the path and file name are entered, we'll click the Add button. We can then confirm the path, scope, and actions that we've selected, and then click OK. We have now defined a search that will return all events for an exact file path. We'll then check the When tab to ensure that it's set to return events for the desired time frame. Once we are satisfied with our settings, we'll click the Save button, and then Run. Once the search is run, we'll create a new tab with search results. In this case, we'll have one event returned. If we highlight the event, we can see the event properties in the bottom half of the screen. In the What description of the event properties, we can see a new file was created. We can also see the path of that file. We also see the path defined in the path field. Often administrators would like to see the folder path and file name appear as columns within the search results. This can be easily defined within the search properties. We'll return to the Searches tab and ensure that our search is highlighted. Once our search is highlighted, we'll click the Layout tab. Within the Layout tab, we see a list of unselected columns and selected columns. Within the unselected columns, we'll locate both the file name and folder path. Once we've selected these entries, we can then determine where we want to put them within our selected columns. In this case, we'll put them after server, and then click the side arrow. Here's both our file name and folder path listed. We'll put the folder path before the file name, as it's easier to read. We'll then save our columns and click Run. Once again, a new tab will be created that will contain our search results. This time, the search results contain both the folder path and file name columns. The columns can be resized as needed. The next topic we'll be discussing is perform a search for a file using wildcards. Return to the What tab of our previous search, highlight the criteria defined, and click Edit Subsystem. We'll highlight and remove our previously defined criteria. In this case, we want to search for testfile1.txt, but we don't care about the actual path that it comes from. So we'll remove the entire path and put in a star as our wildcard. To ensure we search for a file, we'll need to leave the slash in the folder path. Once we're satisfied, we'll click Add, and then click OK. We'll then click Save, and then Run. The search results will appear in its new tab. Looking at the search results, we can see that folder path and file name columns are still defined. Each event that's returned has a common file name named testfile1.txt. However, the folder path is different for each event. Thank you for watching the video on Change Other 6.6 and how to create a search to filter Windows File Server events.